Hey Cancers, morning. Um, I was trying to think of what signs I haven't done yet, and then I was like, wait, I haven't done Cancer? Because I feel like I usually do you guys in the beginning, but... Anyways, um, hope you guys are doing well and having a nice May so far. Just gonna go right into your reading. Um, I've got quite a few decks here, but I'll sort of announce them as I go. Okay. I'm gonna start off with just our good old rider weight and see what's happening. I'm gonna use, yeah, well, I'm gonna use a wanderer's tarot today. I still haven't studied it, so there's some cards in here that, um, I don't, I just kind of can read intuitively, but anyways, okay, let's get started. <laughs> there's... This is going with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Jupiter, whatever resonates with you. A lot of cards are wanting to come up, but I'm going to take these ones up first. We got a King of Cups and a Five of Swords. This could be you guys, or it could be another water sign you're dealing with. I feel like when I see King of Cups, I usually think of Scorpio, honestly. Um, someone that's you are sort of been in a battle, um, there's been sort of selfish interest in this dynamic, um, I feel like, I don't know why, but this person kind of wants you, like, all to themselves, but, like, in, like, a selfish way, um, or you can want them all to yourself, but it's a very emotionally, like, selfish thing, it's like they want all your emotions, and, it's almost like a possessive energy, I feel like. Eight of Wands is reversed, so you might be out of communication with a water sign. The world just wanted to come out. I feel like you're reaching the end of a cycle that you guys have been in. I don't know how the Saturn retrograde has been treating you guys, but being that you're the opposite of Capricorn and Saturn rules Capricorn, I can imagine it's sort of already been like a turbulent time for you. And with this world here, I feel like you're kind of coming into your own of like having learned the lessons, um, karma, having settled the score with a lot of things. And if it hasn't, I feel like it will. I'm curious about this Eight of Wands reverse. I'm going to pull from the Mystic Monday's deck and see if I can get any clarity about that Eight of Wands reverse. <clears throat> The Hermit Reverse, some of you might be dealing with a Virgo. Some of you I feel like are blocked when it comes to, I don't know, I feel like maybe you're a little bit isolated and depressed and like not connecting with people. The Emperor is here, so some of you are definitely dealing with a Divine Masculine. The Magician is reversed and the Two of Pentacles is reversed. So I feel like there's a lack of ability to access your your strength i don't the strength isn't here but with this magician reverse two pentacles reverse it's almost like this um you're really like unsure of yourself i feel like and but i feel like this emperor is here so there's definitely i feel like you're definitely in a twin flame dynamic um and you're trying to kind of be who you feel like you should be for this person um the hermit reverse i feel like you feel very disconnected from somebody and it's making you quite depressed here. But the world is telling me that you guys really are on the brink of finishing this cycle and I think things are going to really um, turn around. So let's see. I haven't pulled these cards in a while. I got the hangman, okay. Definitely getting some major arcanas up in this thing this morning and six of wands reverse with six of feathers in this deck and, and seven of wands upright I feel like you guys are quite defensive and 
um, feel like you have to go into battle, but I feel like you feel like you're losing this battle. And the answer to this with the hangman is just surrendering, you know, like things are happening the way they should. And, um, you know, sometimes when you're just like hitting a wall, you just have to eventually stop hitting the wall. I mean, it sounds so easy, but, um, when you feel like you're exerting so much energy to try to make a point and you're not winning kind of just like, and that's why I feel like the Five of Swords here, it's like, kind of time to like walk away from this um, battle. So I have the Pythia Botanical Oracle deck here. I need the book because I don't know the meanings and the, um, the descriptions aren't on the cards, but it's like tea stain and flower messages. It's a beautiful deck. Let's see what, I'm going to have to find the Invert Fear. Let, less of the heart and gratitude, okay, so, invert fear, this is very interesting, and less of the heart, which is barrage, is blackthorn and bluebells are the flowers, let's see what invert fear has to say, and let, mm. They're playing like 70s music, which is like my jam right now. All these goldies, and I'm just wondering if you guys are resonating with any, I don't know, of the Eagles song that I was playing like. Um, I just feel like sometimes the music in the back is so um, synchronous. Is that even a word? Okay. Left of the heart. Barrage is left left of the heart a card drawn to instill peace between personal battles i just told you guys moving you to find lulls of passionate repose a token of courage among woes barrage is a glowing ember of perseverance wow so this is talking about courage and then the other one is invert fear i can't believe that guys that's exactly what i was saying with the battles of like i'm surprised the chariot hasn't come up actually it's like your card and it's like the ultimate like endurance card but maybe it will come up after this so i just put it out there uh let's see like i hate how i have to take the time to do this on my video because yesterday it took me forever to find if i can't find it i'm just gonna say in with that invert fear it's about facing your fears and um overcoming you know and realizing that a fear is just in your mind and it does it it's not necessarily rooted in reality so and whatever fears are coming up for you guys know that it's just a um here's gratitude blue bells is gratitude a sign that you are hedging two worlds one of bitter disquiet and one of unfamiliar fortune gratitude is the key to balance here give back and give thanks watch the aesthetic sign parody with that alkaline Okay, in, here we go. Invert fear. Blackthorn is invert fear, a card to foil threats of trespass among your dread. Like a nightingale, perch amid your apparel, harbor betwixt the thorns and daunt the hearts of foes. So that's just saying don't let, you know, other people intimidate you. Um, don't let your fears overcome you, you know? Um, let's see, what deck do I want to do? Okay, let's do a little bit more for the rider weight. So, what are these fears about? Cancer. Queen of Cups. You're getting Queen of Cups and King of Cups. So you guys are definitely aligned with, I feel like, your counterpart. Ooh. So there's definitely a passionate, emotional connection with somebody here. Um, with this Queen of Cups and the Ace of Wands. And also, follow your heart's desire. You know, that creative spark in you that's guiding you. That um, passion is going to like light the way for you. Whatever you intuitively feel. So... I'm going to pull some messages from your twin flame. We have the emperor here, so some of you are definitely dealing with the divine masculine, or you're the divine masculine, but either way, let's see what your twin has to say. It really was not you. It really was me. It was not you, okay? And it, I'm really bad at commitment. Okay, so there you go. Um, this person really... <sighs> the song is whenever you want me I'll be there um, so this person is telling you that whatever you know went wrong in your guys' dynamic it wasn't 
your fault. They, it was them. They weren't able to commit. They weren't able to give you what you wanted, you know? And um, I thought about reaching out to you, but I stopped myself. So that's where this eight of wands is reversed. You guys don't get so caught up in that because just because they're not, <laughs> whenever you call me, help me if this is, I couldn't make this shit up if I tried. So um, they are thinking of you. They just haven't had the courage. And I think they have a lot of fear too. I pulled all these fear cards. I think there's a lot of fear in this dynamic and um, that's what's holding people back. But the world is here and I feel like this is telling you things are going to complete you know whatever's been kind of left unsaid whatever's been a big question mark is going to be answered so anyway cancer thanks for tuning in i'll see you guys next time bye